very muddy. I just about wiped out. This was one of my favorite places to look for grouse and hawks and other birds. But uh, over the summer, it was overrun by homeless people tenting out here. So I've come to explore and see if I can reclaim my old wildlife spots. So it turns out I was not recording in the highest bit rate possible or 10 bit color when I used the GoPro in the last video. So I wasn't happy with the quality. I'm excited to see if this looks much better or not. I don't know if you can see that. Gross prints. Always find grouse over here. Bunny prints everywhere. We're also shooting on the hyper hyperview lens. It's a 12 millimeter equivalent lens of some sort. I think it's made up of some weird digital stretching because the sensor on the new GoPro 11 is a square. So essentially I think what it does is it uses the full square sensor and stretches out the sides so that you can get what they call the hyper view. I thought there was a white bird flapping in the trees over there. It's just a balloon. I brought my tripod with me. So if you find wildlife and we take any videos, it's gonna be a lot smoother. seen some stuff online recently about how you're not really a true wildlife photographer unless you get rare cool things. That's bull crap. I'm gonna take pictures of some common mallards now. We did that last video. I'm gonna do it again because you know what? Take photos of all the common species you want. Practice. Literally the same as last time. You know what? I like that red glow. They're putting their head under the water so quickly. Every shot's just like duck underwater, duck underwater. I don't know, that was fun trying though. I decided to come all the way down to the, to the beaver pond. Ooh, it is completely frozen over, except for right here. Oh, oh it's a baby beaver. Guys, okay, okay, okay. I need to figure out a spot to be quiet and hide. And maybe they'll come back. I probably just scared him. He's gonna be going back up pond. And I think we wait in the same spot as last time. Obviously, regardless of the situation, we wanna respect wildlife and be careful not to scare them. But I also have to be extra careful now because beavers might seem harmless. They can mess you up. If you're getting too close, if you're endangering their babies or you're entering their territory, I think I set up over that way. Okay, this is perfect.
take this opportunity to leave now that he's gone underwater. I don't want to disrupt him any further. Okay, there we go. We better get home. That was awesome. So, it wasn't a baby beaver. I don't know if I maybe saw a baby beaver originally, but uh, I don't know. He just seemed small at first until I actually saw him. 